You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. It is two minutes after 12 bells on a lovely Wednesday. It's warming up a little bit. Supposedly it's going to be 80 uh, this weekend, which is good. I'm going to get out of my motorbike and uh, blah, blah, blah. i got a guest with me, Pat O'Brien. How are you, Pat? Hey, Stevie, how are you, man? It's I'm, good to see you again. I'm see good. you off and on. Yes, I do. You know? At the club. And at the cl- at our club. And I just ran into you. You almost ran over me with your pickup truck in Beverly Hills. Yeah. So I my know. lawyers will contact you later, just the fear of that. Who was that bloke who was with you? There's a buddy of mine. Had a cup of coffee down there. Yeah. And a tremendous bakery. Had the... Uh, I bought everything chocolate. I, I'm one of those guys that could eat anything. I don't. I just eat. And you don't. You don't gain weight. I don't gain a pound. I hate you. Uh, you don't hate me. But I. I breathe and I. I breathe air and I gain weight. Yeah, but you look good. Yeah, but if I get rid of that, you can get rid of that. All I have to do is stop eating. But have you? Have Go you, to a salad bar. Have you always been slender? Always been slender. You never. Even as a kid, you never was heavy. My nickname was Rail Job. In high school, because I was so thin. You was even skinnier than you are now. Well, I'm, I'm thin. Or you're the same. I'm thin. The good thing about I hate skinny. The good thing about you is, you, your 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 clothes always fit. I go up and down. So sometimes I'm every I buy all these clothes, and then I lose a bit of weight. Then none of them clothes fit. That's the good thing about being. It's really funny, Steve, because <clears throat> I stay. I've stayed the same weight forever. Now. Um, it's no secret I went to rehab. I gained some pounds in rehab because I, for the first time in my life, ate really well. Yeah. And I gained like 15 pounds. So I was 175, which is not my weight. 160 is my weight. Was you uncomfortable then when you gained 15 pounds? No, because I had a gym there. And it was all muscle, you know. Yeah. But um, then everything didn't fit. Right. And then I lost, of course, I lost it back, and then everything didn't fit again. I'm the same as you. Everything didn't fit. But now everything fits, and I'm the perfect size for free clothes because I'm a, uh, <laughs> I'm the perfect merchandiser uh, for guys who want to you know, get rid of their, their uh, samples. You are a snazzy dresser. Thank you, sir. You, you're, you're into clothes. My father, who was uh, like your dad, he was a boxer. My dad was an amateur boxer, and he was a Golden Gloves guy and a, uh, a handsome you know, whippersnapper. And um, he dressed well. He had no, he didn't have a lot of money, but he dressed. He always had a great suit and a great tie. And I think I learned that from him. You know. So even when you was like a young kid, you you liked clothes. You was into the details of of bits and always, bobs. Always, always. Yeah, me too. And when I, and when I and I go, I went with the, um, you know, I go with styles. But when I go through my closet now, I I say what because I'm trying to pare my life down because I'm a different person now. But I go, what the hell did I buy this for? You know, can I say hell? I can say hell here, right? What the heck did I buy this for? Hell was all right, I think, isn't it? Well, it is now. We're all going there, so it doesn't matter. So you could say hell. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin, I'm not going to blow your show up. Although, do you have a delay here? Okay, no problem. Um, <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but, I, but I like clothes. I'm one of those guys. I'm a, yeah. they used to call him a dandy. Yeah. I'm a metrosexual. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, yeah. A dandy, yeah. Yeah. Remember that, that word? It's an English term. Yeah. There was dandies, like gigolos, basically, a dandy was. Well, I'll take gigolo, too, if you want. You know. But dandy... Um, I'd rather pay, though. I don't want to be paid. You don't want to what? I like, like a gigolo, he gets paid. Oh, yeah. I don't want to pay. I want to be the one paying. I don't want to do either, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I just want that. <laughs> Come on. Um, There's phone bills to be paid, Pat. Uh, phone bills, but don't you get mailbox money, right? Huh? You get a lot of royalties, or <laughs> no? Not really, because uh, we only had one album basically, and uh, Bullocks. Yeah, yeah, and 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 seeing as uh, the internet is really, uh, people don't buy CDs barely anymore. It's just on iTunes, really. People yeah, or, sp- or Spotify. Yeah. And I think they're starting to figure that out now. I think some money is coming through for some artists. Otherwise, the Beatles wouldn't have gone on there. Digital, right? Yeah. but Digital it, money for the la- airplay. The last five years have been a nightmare for the music business, as you know, because it's just, you know, a new album comes out and it's on Spotify that day. Yeah. And you just get it free. Yeah. So why would you... All your albums are on Spotify. 
all one album. Well, Bollocks is there, and then the one we're all interviewed and all that. Oh, there's a there's a few, yeah, the yeah. rock and roll swindle. There's interviews right. ones, yeah, but not a lot, you know. But they're there. Yeah. And uh, you know, <laughs> as um, Ringo says, take you know, another have another freebie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't make as much dough as we used to pistols. Unless we do, but you guys uh, didn't care, right? I mean, you don't. You know. I didn't care when I was nineteen or twenty. Exactly. I care now. Yeah, well, I'm sixty now, and you know, I'll take whatever I can get at this stage of the game. I'm not the same person as I was when I was twenty-one. It's um, it's one of those things. You get old, and you still can do what you can do, and you do it. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying. How <laughs> about that sentence? You do what you can do, and you do it. That will not be seen in any quotation book. <laughs> 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 um, what was I going to say? You threw me with that fantastic quote. Um, you, what was what it? You, can you can do what you can do. You can do it. You know, when I had my, uh, when I went down about 10 years ago from alcohol and all that. Um, do you tell everyone you're, you're a sober person? I have no anonymity. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't really believe in it either because I get, I help more people by them knowing that I'm an alcoholic. And I, I don't have as much time as a lot of people, but I have you know almost uh, eight long? years. Eight years. Yeah, which is a good, good chunk. I've oh. I haven't had I've not I got sober the night uh, Obama was elected. Yeah. I was in Nantucket. I drank fourteen bottles of wine. That, that was that was your time. last. Uh, that was it. How did you feel when you did you wake up? Woke up in I woke up in a in a medevac jet. Oh, you did. Yeah. Um, that somebody got for me and put it on my American Express card, but um, and then I I went to Hazelden and got sober. But um, what was I going to say? Were you working that night? Was you doing some? Kind no, of I was work? watching the election returns. Oh, so I've not had a drink during the Obama administration. But anyway, it's, oh, we were talking about anonymity because people know that I'm an alcoholic. And once an alcoholic, you always are. Uh, so I I get to help a lot of people that way, Steve, because they they'll come to me and they'll call me. Yeah. A lot of people. What uh, people in the entertainment? A lot sports. of entertainment people, politics, a lot of sports guys, or their agents will call me. Somebody's in trouble, and I do spend the time with them. Yeah. I do. I, it's very important for me to to help other people and let them know that there's another way out. Yeah. And by the way, everybody we know is sober anyway. So. Yeah. And you know, also that's the way it works. You have to give it away and help others in order to keep it yourself. I mean, they can. I don't talk to anybody who calls me and they're they're so high and drunk they can't talk. It's pointless. I said, call me call me back tomorrow. Yeah. And I do when people are locked in a hotel room. I said, what are you doing? I said, well, I got all this booze around me. I said, well, a don't stop drinking because you'll have a seizure. Yeah. And b hopefully have another drink. Maybe you'll pass out. Somebody will come and get you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not medically approved, by the way, but I wouldn't try that at home. I've been I've been sober twenty five years. Uh, yeah, you're a you're a beacon of sobriety. A quarter of a century. October twenty eighth, nineteen ninety. I don't know I don't know what was happening that day, but I I do remember that that was the day I last. Uh, I went in to see the cyanide hospital. They used to have a rehab in there. They don't yeah. have it anymore. No, they had one up on the second floor there. Um, I went to four rehabs. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to go back, not not for alcoholism. I, I just li I liked rehab. You know, it's a good uh, group of people there, and you know, it's, they take care of you. You don't have to do anything. Well, you can um, pay them forty grand, and you leave. Yeah. Um, hold on a sec. Uh, before I forget, we got to give away. Uh, yeah, we have to announce the song that people are going to be listening for. We give away a thousand bucks a day. To make people listen to the radio, so <laughs> you don't have to be honest about it. Just say, um, "Okay, go ahead." Well, uh, people don't care; they just want a thousand bucks, whatever it takes. The song is what is it? ACDC is is the is the band, and the Jack is the song. So, if you want a thousand bucks, you got to in the next hour. We're going to be playing it. You're, if you call the twenty five, you get to. Um, you, you you might be lucky enough to get a thousand bucks. Is it cash? I don't know. Is it cash? I can't say for sure, but it's real money. I'm just worried about the tax and all that. I'm just 
Is that tax I'd rather it? see it be cash. If I could just walk in here and change your whole formula. No, you 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 got the cash. You're giving the thousand bucks to, to if the I, If I have to, I will. For you, for of me, course, yeah. You're the man, Pat. Let's play some music. Let's play free, Mr. Big. Yeah. Uh, you're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox, Cal OS with my guest Pat O'Brien. Take it away. <laughs> 